This is a Cheney phonograph. Um, you don't see these very often. These were off-brand off machines. And Forrest Cheney, who developed these back in the 19-teens, came up with this idea of the tone chamber, which was, was on the tone arm, and then you would also find it down inside the machine between here and the horn. He did that in order to circumvent the patent rights held by Victor and Columbia on the flat disc phonographs. And he produced some really nice looking machines such as this one. This happens to be an upright. And you can see the little wood horn inside there that comes out internally. And what I'm going to play for you is Way Down Yonder in New Orleans by Gene Fosdeck's Hoosiers. And I've set the automatic stop on this and we'll give this a try right now. Okay, as you can see, that automatic stop works really good here on this uh, Cheney upright um, phonograph, which I believe is from probably the late teens, early 20s. And of course, Cheney, like uh, many of these other uh, off-brand types, were eventually sued out of existence by the Victor Talking Machine Company. I think Cheney finally won the case, but he was in court for so long that the legal fees eventually put him under. So that's the Cheney Talking Machine with its... Uh, uh, graduated tone chambers to circumvent the patent rights of Victor and Columbia. I hope you enjoyed that rendition of Way Down Yonder in New Orleans, played by Gene Fodstick's Hoosiers. That's from about uh, 1920, early 20s as well, on a Vocalion uh, record. <laughs>